Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. How has everybody been? I've been doing well. I've been healing. I'm almost at 100% with my wrist. In case you're new, I fractured my wrist um, Memorial Day weekend. So I have upgraded, I guess, from the brace to the tape now. It's actually really helping. Uh, but I, I feel like I'm about 95, 98% better. Like, I'm almost there. Like, I could almost pick Jesse up without feeling like he's gonna fall you know so we're, we're healing properly as you may or may not know I have been taking a break from YouTube this year but I've been doing the occasional video here and there I totally forgot to do my review for the boys y'all I literally ended up remembering after I did my thing for Umbrella Academy here we are I don't even know two three weeks later still having anything for the boys so maybe when the final season comes out maybe I'll talk about season four and season five together I don't know we're gonna see what happens I don't know my OCD is gonna kill me that I don't have season 4 review and then I end up doing season 5 especially since it's gonna be the finale uh, and then also I know I have a janky little setup over here okay don't mind it look what had happened was what had happened was was that I bought these posters because I love them okay it's from fourth wing fourth wing is right here loves it it's fantasy okay we um, okay loves it it's gonna be a tv show so look out for that which I'm like I hope it's animated. Anywho, I bought some shelves because I wanted to put my books. That's why I have books here. And the shelves didn't quite work out. So then I had to get my thing out because I'm tired of that little circle deal. Took that out. Didn't want to put it back up. But didn't want to leave this by itself. So there we are with that other poster over there. So it looks kind of cray-cray. And that's why I kind of have books here. Because, and that's why the pops are here. Because the pops that were up there. And I thought, it's okay, y'all. Yeah. We're gonna get through this. That's not what we're here for. Today we're talking about my favorite comedy shows. <laughs> that's, who, that's where we, that's where this long intro was coming to to tell you what we're talking about, which you already know because of the title of this video, of course. Now, because I did do my hundred favorite movies of all time, I thought, hey, let's go ahead and continue to kind of get to know me a little bit better. And we're gonna be doing three videos. So we're doing comedy first, and then we're gonna do my drama, and then supernatural but the supernatural ones i'm gonna wait to do during spooky season for my 13 nights of fright originally this was gonna be like sitcoms and then like just regular series but at the end when i was well, actually this morning when i was looking at my list i was just like some of these like i do love but at the same time to say that they're some of my favorites it just felt like i was a fraud and i don't want to lie to you guys like that so then at the end i just ended up putting it all together so it's, it's gonna be a mixture of sitcoms and series we're not gonna try to talk too much into it because i'm trying to like chill out on how much i talk scenes that i have now talked for i don't know, like five minutes let's when we get into the you know i'm gonna assume you guys already know <laughs> what these shows are about for the most part I don't know but I'll let you know how many seasons there are and where you can um watch it at and maybe a couple little I don't know I just said I wasn't gonna talk but I probably will talk I will talk yeah I already know I am before we do get officially into the list let me just let you guys know that most of these shows I have only ever watched one time there's really just a small little handful that I have re-watched maybe twice i don't think more than twice except for like three series i think there are that are like constant rewatches but they're my favorites even though i've only seen them once okay and there's some that i have rewatched twice because again i don't really watch shows more than that like if they if they come on tv i may watch like an episode but where i sit down and like binge and watch it from start to finish or even like a whole season no i'll probably just like watch an episode if it happens to be on tv then i'm like oh let's just watch this i remember this episode and we'll do that take that as you will because i know there's some people that are just like i binge everything i watch it all the time i've got the dvds or the blu rays whatever i'm not that i've never been that and i'm not that okay coming in 10th place we're talking about my crazy ex-girlfriend this does have four seasons you can currently watch it binge it on netflix this one is a musical i only said i started watching it because of all the awards that it was being nominated for when i tell you it's kind of cringe it's like uh i don't know but i loved it it was like i couldn't i couldn't stop watching it because she cray cray but it is musical so if you don't like musicals this is not gonna be for you but it is 
it's really funny okay she's a crazy ex-girlfriend number nine uh we're talking about scream queens this does only have two seasons you can check it out on hulu and this is just definitely my type of comedy horror i love the cast it's just silly slasher fun it's stupid but there's something about it that is so like yes i love it number eight is santa clarita diet this has three seasons it is a netflix original and I'm, let me just tell you right now this is zombies it's funny zombies netflix canceled this it ends in a cliffhanger the way that it ends that's how you're gonna leave me netflix people were like petition to bring it back i sure did because i was like i must know i must know how certain people handle certain situations that happen to them again funny zombies definitely like gore and murder and all that number seven we have another netflix original this is dead to me this does have three seasons um and i absolutely love all three seasons of it uh, i feel like the last season was absolutely beautiful each season was great there was really no bad season for me i was definitely looking forward to each of them it's a little like dark humor sort of situation each season was great i absolutely love the ending i had me sobbing i'm just gonna say that i'm glad that they stopped it when they stopped it because it still ended on a high note and it gave it a wonderful finale coming in sixth place we have castle with eight seasons um this is streaming on hulu now this i guess could have been considered drama also but it's also comedy I have an author you know castle who is very popular who has it in with the mayor and got the hookup to basically shadow one of the um police officers i think they're in new york <laughs> no not a police officer a detective okay and they're out there doing detective work so he can basically be able to continue to do you know his writing and his story so he can be very accurate he's doing his research but he's honestly helping them solve crimes for actual murders that are happening i used to watch castle while it was coming on tv i saw it firsthand up, up until this point all of these i've only ever seen one time i have made it to the halfway point and the rest of these are sitcoms before we do get to number five if you haven't already give this video a like comment share subscribe comment down below what are your favorite comedy series um do we happen to have any of the same ones coming in in fifth place the shameless it has 11 uh seasons you can stream this on netflix this is the american version of shameless i've never seen the uk version but it's a very dysfunctional family y'all very dysfunctional um parents basically ain't shit the older sister fiona had to take care of all the little younger ones and i will say the little younger ones really took her for granted because it's like they were always mad at her whenever she tried to do stuff for herself it's like me 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 and she's all like but like i gotta do stuff for myself too like number four this will be the first one that i have actually rewatched, and i did not watch this show while it was on tv it was once it started to stream and then i streamed it again because it's just so funny i literally quote this a lot and that is schitt's creek and this is on prime and on hulu that's six seasons and it's a sitcom they're quick i love it david you gotta fold in the cheese i don't know david fold in the cheese i love it i love schitt's creek we have some honorable mentions of course all right so we have the big bang theory cheers the golden girls i'm definitely a sophia jane the virgin ash versus evil dead and reba number three coming in with six seasons we have i love lucy of course one look like you can stream on pluto tv i grew up watching this this one is another one that while it's on coming out i will sit there and i will binge it's not one that oh after an episode that'll be it it's like no oh you're still on and i'm coming in the second place i did watch this from day one when it premiered on television i saw the whole how many seasons 11 seasons absolutely love it this is one that falls if it comes on tv i will sit there and i will watch it i haven't rewatched the whole series but i have seen multiple episodes you know back to back it's one when it comes on tiktok i never scroll past it and this is one very beloved very funny modern family but coming in the first place with 10 seasons 
It is obviously my favorite comedy show. It is one that I have seen multiple times. It's not one that I started watching from day one, but I did watch it while it was on TV. I think it came on Thursday night, if I recall correctly. And I can't remember what season though I was in when when I officially started watching it live. It's a series that I quote all the time. It's a series that I still laugh to this day whenever I watch it. It's like I'm watching it for the first time. And this is none other than Friends, of course. I love it. I am a Friends gal. But this is my list. This, these are my top 10 favorite comedy shows of all time. Thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to drop your favorite series. Um, let me know what I miss. I definitely have not seen everything out there. Most of my shows are pretty old, to be honest with you. They're all old. The most newest one is Dead to Me, honestly, because that just finished, I think, like last year. I have a review on Dead to Me. You can check that out. I think that's the only thing I have a review on. Yeah, because everything else is old. Uh, but yeah, everything else, these are all old shows, you guys. Stick around because I think I'm going to go ahead and film my drama shows. But I don't know when this 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 video is going to, well, not this one, but the drama one. I don't know when that's going to come out. I don't know when this video is going to come out. We're on, on the end of August, like August 31st. So we'll see. I don't know. It's like Memorial Weekend. Not Memorial. It's Labor Day weekend. Oh, I don't think I have much to do. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe on Monday. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see where the editing uh, bug takes me. But until next time, I'll see you guys in concessions. Bye.